Now we're going to be measuring the frequency counter for both the wave tech and the meter man. Meter man has a frequency max of 40 megahertz, whereas the wave tech for this particular um, model it is 15 megahertz. Now there was other iterations. There was the wave tech meter man, the wave tech. Um, uh, the meter man 16 xl and for some reason the uh, frequency seemed to vary uh, depending on which incarnation of the uh, x16 xl was uh, in question but for the purpose of this test this model is rated at 15 megahertz for the wave tech so let's get started we're going to be using the an 8008 it goes up to five kilohertz and as you can see right now we're both showing five so we'll start off at the 50, and we'll just compare them in terms of speed and accuracy. So 50 kilohertz, so far so good. Going up to 100, and no problems there. Now we're up to 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, Meter Man is probably just a tad quicker at this point, going up to 800 megahertz. I'm sorry, 800 hertz, 900 hertz, and now one kilohertz, two kilohertz, and you see the display is a little bit different now. On the Meter Man, it's showing as 2,000 hertz, and the Meter Man just shut off. That was the auto off function coming into play with that annoying chirp. <laughs> okay, so back into the fr frequency action. We're at 2,000 hertz, according to Mr. Inning, and 2 kilohertz for the wave tech. 2,000 hertz, one in the same, going up to 3,000. Well, now the wave tech seems to be a little bit faster in the higher ranges. 4,000, and finally, this is the max that the 8,008 is capable of. 5,000 hertz or 5 kilohertz and no problem. So there you go. They um, both sufficed and they both met their specs. So in terms of frequency, I don't think there's um, any winner here. Um, they were both a little bit laggy. Um, at some points, the Meter Man was faster. At other points, the Wave Tech seemed to be uh, quicker. But there you have it. Once again, for the frequency, the maximum for the meter man is 40 megahertz, and the wave tech is capable, with this incarnation at least, of 15 megahertz. Hi everybody, and welcome back to part two of the Vintage Multimeter Review. To continue, we're measuring the 35XP from meter man on the left to the venerable wave tech 16XL digital multimeter on the right. Both meters are old. The one on the right, the WaveTech, is, uh, well, almost 20 years old, if not 20 years old. And the meter man on the left is around 8 to 10 years old as well. So, how do they look on the inside? Well, as you can see, I've got them side by side right now. And honestly, so far, um, so good. It's interesting. If you look at the uh, PCB for, for both, the wave tech and the meter man uh, it's a combination of uh, through hole and smd components on on uh, each meter and in terms of a comparison one thing i noticed right off the get-go is both have some nice shielding a lot of a lot of digital multimeters today even expensive ones have no shielding and for the life of me i just don't understand why this is these are electronics instruments, precision instruments at that, and really RF interference can negate or change readings. So this should be standard on any multimeter. I don't know what the exact, um, uh, how can I put it, how the standards are, uh, are written, but uh, I'll, I'll definitely have to look at that one day because, um, yeah, it's just, it's nice to see, and this is the way it should be. So. Right off the get-go, both meters shielding looks nice. The WaveTech shielding seems to go pretty well um, the length of the case, whereas the uh, Meter Man stops just on the left a little bit. They both have daughter boards, as you can see. 
that's where the uh, probes go into. And if we look at the meter man, we can see right away we've got a nice SEPA fuse. It's a 2 amp SEPA fuse and it's rated for 1000 volts. They've got a um, nice big piezo here on top. And it looks like the IC, if I can just zoom in there a little bit. Yeah, it's a Cyrus Tech. Uh, ES519848 seems to be the, uh, the IC on the meter man. I will see if I can pull up the specs for that shortly. What else do we have? Well, we have a crystal oscillator on top. I see a... Is that an LM? Um, interesting, we have a couple of shrouded PTCs, a MOSFET, uh, some a resistors array down here. So it's uh, an interesting little mix we've got going on. Uh, in terms of the overall input protection, I mean, you do have that nice big fat SEBA fuse. There's not a lot of clearance, though. Um, so I'd be a little concerned about that. Um, in terms of the actual probes themselves, uh, they do seem to be the nice, uh, nicely soldered on. Uh, it's not screwed in, but they are actually, in terms of the soldering job, that's that's really top notch. That's a, that's a really good looking. Uh, let's just see if I can get in a little bit closer for you. Yeah, so it's a uh, pretty decent. Uh, soldering. Overall, um, nice and clean. Um, it is interesting how you know they'll have these SMD components and then right away you've got these uh, stray caps and what have you. But um, I mean generally speaking it looks, uh, looks fine. And the fact that they did implement a nice big fat SEBA ceramic fuse, um, I mean that's always a good thing. Now if we just move along to its older brother, here we've got a uh, slightly different array. Um, you know, I'd probably prefer the older WaveTech if I was going to pick one. Um, the PCB itself uh, seems to be cleaner. Just seems to be a little bit uh, like a little more thought went into it. Uh, once again, we have our piezo here, and we have a different IC. In this case, we've got it looks to be a UMC UM seven one zero eight F. Seems to be the integrated circuit that's uh, responsible. Um, little current shunt. Piezo again, speaker. We have some uh, calibration pots here. And what is that? Uh, another crystal oscillator on top. Uh, some zener diodes. Now this one as well has the uh, um, transistor checker and the uh, capacitor uh, input on the chassis. So um, you've got that little array right over here on the PCB. But overall I do find the PCB on the, uh, the WaveTech to be uh, a little nicer, a little cleaner. And we'll just kind of pan back here again, look at them both. So yeah, once again you've got the 10 amp 1000 volt fuse here on the WaveTech in comparison to the 2 amp, um, actually is that, I'm sorry, that's 10 amp 600 volt compared to the 2 amp 1000 volt here. Um, do you have different chipsets entirely and I'll pull up the specs and I will put those online and uh, Yeah, overall, I would have to probably give my kudos to the WaveTech in terms of the overall uh, design and cleanliness. A um, little more spacing here. I, I don't even see the current shunt on the meter man. And one thing I really don't like on multimeters, you tend to see this a lot, but you have these wires that are just sort of hanging. And I mean, here it's, you know, right beside the fuse. So that fuse heats up. You're right away going to have a, a problem with that. Whereas at least here on the meter man, the uh, the speaker wires are um, far from the actual amp and uh, the current shunt. 
they both have a, uh, a nice little bit of um, blast protection here. The uh, meter man is slightly higher, so you'll probably have a little more shielding in that respect. Um, but overall, I would say they are pretty well neck and neck in terms of the, um, the actual layout. So I'll let you be the judge. You decide. And I will um, probably not go any further. I was debating if I should go and uh, take it one, one notch up and pull them over. But uh, I was looking and uh, there's quite a lot of little screws, especially on the WaveTech. So I don't think we're going to see a whole lot on the other side of the chassis. Um, but one thing I will point out is here, you've got your... It looks like it's an extra 500 milliamp fuse, so um, there would be another fuse somewhere on that wave tech that's not visible from this uh, from this angle. So yeah, there you have it. So let me know what you think. Were these good quality meters? I mean, this guy's pushing uh, 20 years now, so. You know, for a 20-year-old meter, I gotta say, job well done, WaveTech. WaveTech had a really good name. I think they, you know, a lot of professionals were using WaveTechs, um, and uh, I can see why. Yeah. Really nice design, well laid out, and uh, thoughtful component-wise. The meter man, it seems to have probably taken a notch down in terms of the overall quality. It's just a little messier. Um, not as a clean layout. So I'll definitely give the kudos in this respect to the WaveTech 16XL. Alrighty, well thanks for watching part two. And I hope you enjoyed this uh, short comparative review between these two vintage multimeters. My name is Darren, and until the next time, keep on testing.